How's it going Prime Squad? Welcome back to another Legends of Arceus video. In this video we're going to go over a bunch of helpful tips. That would be my cat. We're going to be going over a bunch of helpful tips and tricks for your first hour of playthrough in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Let's roll the clip. Once you complete all the early game stuff of like tutorials and going through and learning the storyline and how you got here, that's the hour of game time I'm playing. So this is the team that I have been able to catch in about an hour of game time. As you can see, I got Dartrix, Eevee, Buizel sitting down there on the stairs. Uh, we got Stantler, Driftbloom, and Luxio. All part of my team so far. So the first thing, oops, we'll just recall all these boys. And let's start out. By going into the Galaxy Headquarters. Okay, so once you're inside Galaxy HQ, the first tip I'm going to show you is Baggin over here. And he will, he basically, you pay him and he expands your bag. Kind of just like any other um, role-playing game where you have that. No, Ghost, get down. Get down, buddy. Okay. So every time uh, you need to expand your bag space, it's going to cost a little bit more. So I've already expanded it once. It costs 100 so now I will be expanding it again for 200 and you get one space extra in your satchel so you can carry one you can carry one extra item when you are out um, patrolling but it won't be too big of a deal early on um, but and then for later on I have some tips for you as well so another helpful trick that you can only do from inside galaxy headquarters if you pull up your map you will be able to see all the areas within jubilife city so you can see down at the bottom right hand corner it says press x to choose destination and you can actually click any of these areas within the town and instead of having to run there it will just take you there so let's just start out by going to the training headquarters or training field okay so a little bit into the game you will be prompted to do a battle here with uh not she's not really your rival i, I don't remember what her name is it starts with an a um and you will meet this lady who is a zizu she she is a battle pro and she's kind of work gonna work as your move tutor um as you progress throughout the game you will be able to learn more powerful moves early on it's not very much like i said i've been playing for about an hour so it will not be um the moves won't be too crazy but sometimes they will help so you can go in here and pick any of the Pokemon you want. So let's see if I want to teach Dartrix any new moves. You can see he can learn False Swipe, Swift, Magic Leaf, or Rest. Um, for Dartrix, we already have Gust, Leaf Edge, and Roost. None of those moves are, uh, you know, too important to me. We have Eevee. We can, we can see what kind of moves Eevee can do. Focus Energy, Calm Mind, Rest, or Baby Doll Eyes. Again, none of these are too important, um, especially early on. When you know your Pokemon are going to be evolving later on, um, I don't necessarily recommend um, doing new moves, but you can if you want. Um, it's an easy way. Your Pokemon will learn new moves. You come over here and talk to Lucille. She will give you charms. So charms are pretty cool. Um, there's three different ones, and they do different things here. So there's one where if you faint, you'll lose fewer items. If you you'll faint less frequently. Now remember, there is fall damage in this game. Um, this does not stop you from taking fall damage. Um, staying in good health. Uh, the effects of like paralysis or hypnosis when you personally get hit by Pokemon, they won't last as long. Um, so right now, I don't need any of those. I'm not that interested. I also really like to jump as like as much as possible. Um, I feel like it helps me get around faster. I don't know if it actually does. Okay, on to our next tip. So these are called your base camp, which you know is explained to you unless you haven't played through the game yet. You can do a couple cool things here at base camp uh, that at the beginning I was not aware of until, well, until more recently. So I want to show you guys here and now. So first off, you have the galaxy member here. Um, you can... Do a couple things with him. So first you can go shopping so you can buy certain things from him. I honestly recommend just crafting these. This is mostly what you need and you can craft these as well. Um, you probably I don't know if you can craft these yet. Uh, but if you want to sell items, okay, so you'll press ZR, you can also sell items. And as you can see, I can sell items that are currently in my satchel, which is here on the left. And then also items from my uh, actual box here on the right. I do not recommend selling too much stuff. 
Okay, do not sell iron. You're going to need that. Um, do not sell the wood. Um, I mean, you can. You can sell whatever you want. I don't recommend selling the iron, though. Keep the iron. And Stardust actually works differently in this game than it does in other games. So I recommend actually hanging on to the Stardust as well. Um, you have your crafting bench here where you can craft Pokeballs. Um, I can actually also now craft Heavy Balls, um, which obviously, you know, work a little bit better. Or I can craft whatever these little things are, um, but I do not have enough wood. Um, back to the Galaxy member here, because we got a little sidetrack. You can rest here. So anytime when you're out there, if you're, some of your Pokemon faint, you can go come over and talk to this guy and rest. So it's going to do a couple things. You have a few options here. The first one, you can rest just a little, which will just heal your Pokemon and you'll wake back up and it'll be the same time of day. You can also rest until morning. You can rest until midday, evening, or nightfall. So in other games, when you wanted to change the time of day, you would have to go to your Switch and change it because, as we all know, certain Pokemon spawn at certain times of day, evolve at certain times of day, um, et cetera, et cetera. You do not have to do that anymore. They actually made it a feature so that you can control when you uh, want to be out hunting. So I could say until morning. I don't know what time it is right now. I think it's probably midday. But we're going to go ahead and I'll show you how it works and we'll just rest until nightfall. All of my Pokemon will be fully healed. And then here when we wake up, it will be nighttime and all the nighttime Pokemon spawns will be out in the wild. So you can see the drift loom there. They only spawn during the night. I believe that is everything with our friend here. Oh, you can all, my bad. No, you can also swap out Pokemon here. So he has access to your PC and this game is just a field. So if at any point while you're out in the wilds and you want to switch out, you simply come over here. Let's say I want to move Buizel and let's say I wanted, you know, Bidoof. Okay. It's super easy. You can check summary. You can do all sorts of things. Also, while we're in this box, let's go over how um, you change moves in this game. So it's pretty simple, actually, but it's kind of a hidden feature. So let's go over it. So if I come up here to Dartrix, you can see I can move, check the summary, change moves. Okay, so this is a new feature. Change moves. I can add any of these moves. Well, actually, I take that back. I can add Aerial Ace as a fourth move. And boom, I added it. If I had more than four moves, you can literally swap in and out at any point in time. You can go in, you can change your moves. It's not like the old Pokemon games where you have to use a heart scale to learn a move or go to the move deleter and use TMs and HMs. It's, it's much better than that. Literally, you just come in here and you change moves. You can change moves before any battle. You can move, change them back when you're done. Literally easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And then of course you have your box over here. Um, I don't recommend taking stuff with you that you don't need because if you lose, you um, will drop stuff. So I don't need this iron with me. You can move all at once, boom. And now it's over there. I don't need these, move all at once. You get, you get the gist. Next up, do all the side quests that you possibly can as soon as you can, okay? Um, probably about an hour in, you could go and fight Cleaver. Cleaver, I haven't done it yet. I've just been running around exploring, which is why I have so many Pokemon. This guy is waiting on me to get him some mushrooms, and you get nice rewards from it. So this guy wanted me to catch mushrooms, or grab mushrooms, which means I had to go fight Paris and Parasect. Sometimes they drop them, and just in that area, there were generally mushrooms growing. Um, he wants mushrooms, and he's going to make you a recipe. And he's going to give you some cake lures, which basically, if the Pokemon likes mushroom snacks, they will be distracted in the eating it, kind of like the Safari Zone. It makes them easier to catch. There's a lot of items like that in the game. So if you pick up an item and you don't know what it does, I recommend reading about it. It helped me catch a uh, Mime Junior that was constantly running from me earlier, which you saw. I probably talked about it already. Um, I used a Honeycomb because Fairy-type Pokemon like it. So we are going to try and throw this because Fairy Pokemon like it, apparently. And 
And while it's eating, let's see if we can catch it this time. And there we go. That's how you catch Mr. Mime Jr., guys. If you do get um, these honeycombs, it will make it easier for you to catch it. We caught it without being spotted. We caught it with a back shot and while it was eating. All right, I'm going to show you guys how to catch Eevee here. Um, I believe I am in the I'm in the Obsidian Fieldlands, more specifically the Horseshoe Plains. This is the only spot that I've been able to see Eevee. Um, I did try to catch one earlier, and it ran away. As we are going to throw that, oh, we missed. We missed again. All right, and it's gone. So we are going to see if we can get one this time. Um, I don't want to just throw a Pokeball at it right away because it will run if I do that. It looks like it's asleep right now, so we're going to sneak up on it and just throw a Pokeball actually right away. It is a level 3, so we'll probably actually go and fight it here. It's only level 4. It's keeping its guard up, so there's a chance that it might run. I don't want to knock it out here, so we're going to go... We'll go Agile style. Gust. Alright, we're just going to throw a Pokeball now. I don't want to risk losing it. And we do want that Umbreon for our team here. There you go. Even the banks. Head to the Obsidian Fields and into the Horseshoe Plains more specifically. And you can catch yourself an Eevee. Alright, another tip for beginning the game when you're starting out. Um, as you can see, my Rowlet is level 18, so he is ready to evolve as of one level ago. Um, but obviously he hasn't done that yet. And you might be wondering yourself, Chris, why, why has your Rowlet not done it yet? Is it Ash's Rowlet? Does it have an Everstone? No, it does not. There's actually a weird mechanic in the game where when you can see, you come over here to your Pokemon list and you can see that glowing ball, right? And I thought at first maybe it was because it was picked up an item or something like that. It's not. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on Rowlet, okay? And then you can see it says evolve. Oh, my bad. They can't evolve when they're outside of their Pokeball. All right. Let's do it this way. <laughs> so you're going to go to Rowlet. You'll click Evolve. Rowlet is ready to evolve. And you'll say do it. And here you go. Here's what evolution looks like in this game. Boom. And now I have Dartrix. So that is how you evolve, guys. They're not going to do it on their own. I think I can evolve Shinx, too, even though it's fainted. I tried fighting a Alpha. 40? Oh, my God. Oh, and it put us to sleep. No, 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 no. Shinx, wake up, buddy. It wasn't a good idea. So you are in control of their evolution. Um in these games guys so make sure you pay attention if you're wondering why your pokemon haven't evolved yet pull up your menu go over and see if they are indeed ready to go and now you can see there's my dart tricks that is going to do it for this video guys i will have more tips and tricks in the future as we go along but i want to keep these videos nice and short so that you guys can easily watch get through and then get back to your gameplay thanks for watching and subscribe for more have a great rest of your day night midday, morning, whatever it is. Have a great one.